are we doing here? What Emil? are we doing here? Yeah. First That's of the all, biggest question. Exactly. Yeah. Even if we are doing it in different sports, we have something together. My name is Ida Jansson and I'm a cyclist. I'm here trying to race Olympic skiers, which is so fun because I'm not even close, but I forget about that when I'm out there. My name is Stefan Björklund. I'm a professional adventure racer. We all come from different backgrounds and uh, now we're here together doing Christian for Ski. My name is Martin Söderström. I'm a professional freestyle mountain bike rider and I'm from Sweden. I like the atmosphere here and also it's a lot of snow. And when it's, when it's a lot of snow, you know we're gonna enjoy it. It feels like we are a bunch of grown-ups being able to be kids again and just play around. When I first heard about the idea of the Nordic Hut, they said, you're gonna come to a cabin in Sweden, and I know from my many years in the World Cup that Sweden is a really nice place, that you're gonna come and you're gonna get out to ski and have some fun, have some good food, um, with some friends and meet some new friends. And I said, really? I can come and do that? <laughs> this, uh, this just sounds like a lot of fun. Right now we are... In Bruxelles? In Sweden. Yeah. In the Nordic hut. Yeah. A fantastic hut. When we just stepped in here, every one of us was just like, whoa. This place, I mean, it's unreal. I think the first thing I felt was, I think I'm just gonna stay in here. This was not a good idea by Fisher to get <laughs> such a nice hut, because we're just gonna stay in here. Yeah. Welcome to Sweden. Welcome to the hut. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, the dynamic in the group after one hour was like really cool. The only thing that connects us is that we like to be outside. Yeah. We like to do stuff and like to like enjoy and Challenging work. a bit. Yeah, cha absolutely challenging. Yeah. But also use the uh, nature a little bit yeah. to be outside and also put a little snow in it. started out on the first day. Uh, it was exciting to wake up and see the snow falling outside. We were kind of excitedly ran outside and we were getting on some different skis than we were used to from the racing world. We were on the more of the backcountry skis and so we, we put them on right there, we put the skins on. We grabbed some really cool Nordic skis. It was kind of maybe, maybe the third time I was ever on the skis like this. Go out just by yourself or with friends, ride out in the forest. That is something special. We knew that the forecast said a lot of snow, but we could not imagine how much it was going to snow. It's been a crazy amount of snow outside. Yeah. I would say it's the perfect condition for like a morning experience. Yeah. In these conditions, you feel more alive, I would say. And cold. Waterproof yeah, it was a little bit cold, but it was fun. Like, it, but it is a little adventure, you know. Yeah, we liked it. Yeah. It just felt like such an adventure. I mean, we were on the track and then we went off into the woods and then it, you know, it was deep and you're, you're chasing after and you're doing little races and then we'd been going for a while and so it was really fun to come across this hut and you could, you could barely see the roof. And so we skied up to it and then just like, we had the shovel in the backpack. So a shovel out and you know, kind of go inside. <laughs> Then it was actually quite nice to sit down for a moment, uh, you know, unzip the jacket a little bit, and then for me to experience some nice uh, traditional Swedish. Some energy, <laughs> energy bar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
We had some reindeer sausage and some special bread, and uh, so we were just in there, kind of laughing about the the adventures we just had, and then it was kind of like, okay, where we go next? I feel like the group is perfect because we're all kind of the same. We were all like, oh, look up there, that looks fun, and we were all sprinting up and then try to go down. Uh, some people were more successful with the downhills than, than I was. <laughs> found some uh, river to cross and instead of just crossing the river I wanted to make it a little more fun. I don't know what hit him but suddenly he was jumping over a small river. Well, we could have gone around it. Yeah but that was maybe 50 meters. Maybe. Yeah 50 meters extra. <laughs> you, you have to always take the shortest. <laughs> yeah if you're an adventure racer yeah, yeah exactly. then take yeah. the shortest one. That's Jeez. true. Yeah. That's true. And then we jumped from a, from a roof. And then we jumped from a roof. It's crazy, actually. We found this house, another house that was, and this was a big house, like a normal, standard living house. We have been there before. Yes. We have been running in the summer. It is a real house. It's not a like one meter high house. It no, is. It's, a, it's a real house. <laughs> It seemed like it was some kind of an agreement in between the other athletes that they were gonna show me how, how to be extreme. I think Martin, he is the instigator in this crew. You know, he tells everyone how rad he is. He can throw off backflip, front flips, he can do 360s on his bike, and then when we were up there on this house, he was just like standing down there with his little phone. Like, we have this professional TV crew here, they're making this really cool movie. And Martin, he's just like, I gotta stand here and shoot. I'm just gonna say that I'm very happy that I didn't have to jump off the roof because it's been a lot of pressure. <laughs> like, Martin, you're the slope style athlete. When are you gonna do a backflip on the cross country <laughs> ski? So when I saw them on the roof, I'm like, I'm not gonna go up there because they're gonna make me do something crazy. And he was just like, okay, Stefan is going. Three, I'm just, whoa, okay, I'm going. <laughs> So I'm very happy that Stefan took it for the team, jumped off the roof. Maybe it wasn't the most successful landing, but uh, we were all very happy, especially we were very happy when we walked up and we saw that he was okay. From the first time we clicked into our bindings, all the way to the very end of the day, just the whole spirit was just so fun. One of the best days I've had in a very long time. It was like, no pressure, we were just out there. Mm. It felt like we were kids again. Yeah, you know when you were a kid and the first snow come out and you were so excited about it, it was like almost that feeling. People love to be outside. People often love winter. And then skiing together outside during the winter, it's a perfect way of bonding. I would say that we just kept on <laughs> going with the same recipe that worked the day before. We just had different skis on our feet, but it was still the exact same thing. I was a little nervous in the morning because I was skiing with these guys that I've watched on TV. First of all, we love this place. We love the Bruksvallarna in Sweden. We've been here so many times over the past years because it's good for cross-country skiing. Yeah. Maybe the best place in Sweden for cross-country skiing. What we're doing now with the non-professional cross-country skiers also, that we just can enjoy skiing. We can enjoy skiing together also. It was really fun, you know, we had three girls, we had three guys, and I think everybody was strong in their own way, which is impressive. Even though people said, like, okay, keep it safe, it's almost impossible in a group like this. Because everyone, they're just stressing each other and 
It's so competitive. We race each other. I mean, obviously super hard to uh, ski with some of the best skiers in the world when they are just going easy, trying to look good for the cameras, and I'm behind and like... <gasps> it was very frustrating sometimes when you're like, okay, I know I have to look good, but I just, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so hard because it's so much fun while you're racing and then you don't think about the consequences when you're at the finish line and you're like oh my well, god <laughs> everywhere let's do it again again and again one more time like a little kid again again i love it it's good to ski with the non-professional also to see both sides of the world. We see the course a little bit different. I think it's really cool that you get this different group of people together and sometimes you get to be the leader and sometimes you're following, trying, trying to keep up with someone who's uh, you know, so tall. And <laughs> when I came up this little small hill, it was more like a bump, I saw they were pretty far behind. So I just lay down and I started doing my push-ups and I was counting like 1,001, 1,002, and then the emerald just kind of sprayed me. It was like a wave of snow coming over me and I guess I deserved it <laughs> for being cocky. still having fun racing each other and looking for places to jump and... I never jumped off a TV position before, like, that is just crazy, actually. I just went over the edge, jumped over the camera position and there was Martin <laughs> and Stefan, like, what, guys, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, just in front of me. <laughs> Martin, if he had a birthday wish <laughs> to race me at the ski stadium here, a full-on sprint. He was the best cross-country sprinter in the world. So yeah, I just thought this is the perfect birthday present. And you know Emil, he's not gonna back down from a, from a battle. So uh, he, was, he was up for it. Welcome to Bruxvallana and Fisher Nordic Hat World Championship. <laughs> we have uh, Emil Jonsson Hag and Martin Söderström at the uh, start line. And we have Ready, Set, Faster! And here they come, we have a tight battle. You can see that Martin is, is in a clear lead. Emil catching up from behind, birthday boy is coming. Here is Emil coming, Martin is coming. Oh, we have a tight finish line. Oh my God, that was a tight finish line. We need a photo finish, but uh, let's have a quick interview here. Martin, what happened here at the finish line? I think I understand now how hard it is to do the interviews at the finish line. Oh, uh, perfect. You can hardly breathe. Yeah, and Emily, you lost the pool. You lost the pool and missed the start a little bit. Yeah. But I'm still happy. <laughs> still felt good. And, uh, <laughs> and let, let's do the, like, how, the, how does it feel now? We will be back tomorrow, <laughs> second round, slope style mountain biking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when it's uh, Emily's birthday, we Thank do the you. slope side. <laughs> that was my birthday present. Perfect. My 30th birthday present. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, to turn 30 here in the, in the Nordic hut was, uh, it was really cool. Happy birthday to you! Oh. A very different experience, because usually you're celebrating your birthday with your family and your closest friends. So I, I thought it 
uh, this might be a little weird, but since we had such a good chemistry in the group, oh my god, you guys are the best. I really, really appreciated how much love all the, everyone in the house was, uh, was giving me all day and uh, was really caring about me to have the best possible birthday. I think you got it, Martin. <laughs> it's a great memory since your 30th birthday is kind of a, a big deal. And uh, to feel like you did it in the best way possible was, uh, yeah, it's very nice and something that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. This experience I'm gonna bring home a lot of laughter, so much fun, and some new friends. You can really feel that fun gives you so much energy. It just, it, it reminds me why I love the sport. There's just something magic about gliding on the snow and really fun when you get to do doing it with other people and that, that push you but also make you feel, feel confident. I think when I'm going home, I would miss this so much. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about why do I not have a house here and <laughs> together with these people. <laughs> why is Emil and Anna not my parents? <laughs> yes. Why don't I have that annoying big brother one? <laughs> <laughs> have to take the risk. You have to go for the adventure because you never know how much fun you're going to have out there until you go.